What up, what up, what up, YouTube goers? Starting with a very awesome, long-awaited figure. The Star Wars Black Series 3. So, you know, guys, a uh, big shout-out to my boy Alex. And, you know, I looked everywhere at my local stores. None of them didn't have them. Hopefully, these stores will retail all of them. And hopefully, we'll have more of these guys down the road. Rumors is they're making them. Rumors is every store is going to be getting one box in every shipment at a time. So if you're lucky enough to go really early to pick these bad boys up, I recommend them because they're going high press by you on eBay ready. So, starting with the Sand Trooper. Uh, let's start with the box. The box is a very nice description of the figure. All his package. Here's a little um, demonstration of the figure itself. So you could be right there. Pause it if you want to. And then it says, These ain't the droids we're looking for. So, and then it has a nice picture of the Sand Troopers. Luke Skywalker, R2-D2. Now, let's start with the Trooper himself. First of all, let's start off with I do like and I don't like. First of all, let's start with the I don't like. Uh, he comes with hella weapons. So, what do you do with all the extra weapons? That's a good question. Like, his extra gun right here, you could put it on the side of his shoulder, right or left. So, you know, that's a good part to it. Um, he comes with another rifle blaster. I don't know what it is. I, I'm believing it's a rifle or sniper gun. And he comes with his handgun. His hand, handgun blaster. And what I don't like about it is he doesn't come with a pouch to put his extra gun on the side. So like right here you see how they carry, you know, his little ammo belt to carry his ammo for his guns. That's really nice. And I love how they did detail on this figure. Wow. But they should put a little gun pouch on the side and he could carry his other extra gun with him. That would be a good part. Second, what I don't like about it, the bottom of his feet is just plain white. And they should have painted black on the bottom. I'm just saying. But other hand, the figure itself, it's a good figure. So, the head sculpt of the Stormtrooper. Very awesome. Love it. They really nailed it out of the park. The, the paintbrush on this figure is well detailed. I mean, this figure looks like a miniature hot toy. I mean, this figure itself is 6 inch tall and um the detail like on the patching the yellowing it's really nice it comes with the nice little ammo it comes with like four different ammo and it's like so detailed it looks like real leather how they really sculpted that bad boy in um i love how they did the dirty dust of this um desert when they're in the a new hope really nice it's really detailed I mean, there's so much about this figure people are so crazy about. And, you know, hopefully there's a toy show coming up pretty soon in Ceremony. And if I do see any more of the Stormtroopers, I know they're going to be high value now. But I'm going to see if I could get a couple more extras just to have them in the package and a couple more open. Um, he comes with the yellow patch. I believe this is the commander because on the last description when I read about this guy, he's the commander of all the Sand Troopers. If he's yellow, so they're Marines. Um, he comes with a nice little yellow backpack. I mean, yellow backpack, but a little backpack. Really nice. Really detailed. You can snap it on or off. He comes with four guns. Four guns, and he comes with the backpack itself. You could take it off or put it on. I tried to take off the yellow patch, but I didn't want to mess with it or break it, so I just left it on there. So on the other hand, the armor is really detailed, really sculpted in, really nice brush to it. Love how they did it. They really did take their time on this figure. Hopefully down the road, we'll see what else Hasbro has in line for us. And yeah, there's nothing else to say about this figure. I just got to say, you know, 10 out of 10 for this figure. I mean, I, like I said, I would like it if they, you know, give him a gun patch to put this gun, that gun... On the side, on the extra patch of his gun to, you know, hold. And he should have painted the bottom of his feet black of his boots. 
instead of just paying all white. So, you know, sometimes toy companies get lazy off of certain stuff. But anyways, you two goers, I finally got it. I promised you guys I was going to get it. Um, like I said, big shout out to my boy Alex. Feel free to leave comments. Um, please subscribe. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. And see you guys on the flip side.